this video we're going to uncue a custom style sheet for WordPress in the child theme. This is different than uncueing your styles.css in a WordPress child theme. If that's what you're looking to do, your style CSS, uh, you're wanting to uncue it in your child theme, you will need to see my other video. I'll leave a link below for that because this is similar but not the same as uncueing a child uh, child, uh, child theme style sheet. Okay, so here's the website I'm working on. And let me go ahead and refresh this because I removed it. There we go. And I'm wanting to make some custom stuff for my containers. Make, give them unique looks. And take care of an overflow issue as well for, for these things. So what I've done is I've created a container CSS style sheet. It has all my various styles I want to use. And I happen to be using a Site Origins page builder for this video. I'm not going to go into the CSS and what I do with the CSS, but I'm targeting some of their default styles and I created new things that I can add as classes to my widgets. So I have container CSS and I'm in my child theme and you'll see that I've already got container CSS loaded in my child theme. So what we need to do is go ahead and queue this into the function child theme functions file, functions PHP file. And you'll notice where I have my style sheet style CSS in my child theme it calls get the template directory URI right here in this part well that's where the major difference is for uh, a custom style sheet you don't want to get the template directory URI. that's going into the parent directory and pulling in the style sheets and then combining its style sheet with your child style sheet and using it we don't want to do that for the custom style sheet so I got the Got it right here, and I'll explain it. I'm just going to put it right in. Let's see, where was I? There. Okay, and we're going to paste it. So, what I've done, give a little separation here, is I've created a new function. I give it a name. It's my containers underscore style. Because if you remember, I named my containers style sheet, right? Containers.css. So, we're going WP uh, underscore NQ underscore style. And we're going to call this function containers or we're giving it a name excuse me containers hyphen styles and here's where the difference is get style sheet directory URI so it's going to go into the child theme uh, style sheet directory which is the top level directory of your child theme and it's going to go pull containers CSS and then we need to hook that into the WordPress itself and they do that and you do that with an add action and we're going to WP underscore unky underscore scripts comma and then we're going to call this function up here function container style and you'll notice I have a number set here it's because I want my containers style sheet to load after all the other style sheets the default WordPress is 10 I just give it a number of 15 that will load last so let's go ahead and save if you remember this is what it looked like and I'm going to save this and I'm going to refresh this and I've created, you know, a different background, a box shadow. All these are in different classes, so I can mix them up on anything. I didn't create just my test container all as one design. I, I busted everything up into its own CSS class, like box shadow, border, border radius, H2, uh, background colors. So that way, if I wanted to put some of these styles over on this one here, I could. This here is one I created for no title for the for the widget box, uh, and this one here is a uh, just a different color. It's got a background, and I have this border here set with some opacity, etc. And you'll notice I took care of the overflow. All that's in my control by my containers style sheet by the custom style sheet. And just go look at the source here. Let me see, view source. We're going to come down to where the style sheets are loading, which is right here in this area. And you'll notice the very last style sheet that loads is containers. Is uh, yeah, give you the ID to containers hyphen styles, right? Well, it is the container CSS. I have it loading after the rest of my, you know, my parent style sheet, some other style sheets that are loaded with this, etc. And that's really all there is 
to on cue in a custom uh, style sheet for your child theme. If you want more video tutorials, many of which are not on here on YouTube, you can go to my website, www.skeeterz71.com. As always, they are free to watch, covering everything from uh, web design to WordPress to .NET Nuke to uh, some other programs, CSS, HTML, many, many, many types of videos uh, to help you with your design and web jobs. If you like this video, how about giving me a like or share it or leave a comment or any combination of the three. Thank you very much and you have a good day.